What do you think we should do for this year's C-SPAN student cam competition? Wait. It has to be something that connects our community to the federal government. Wait. We should do something that shows how we're reducing our communities and the federal government's environmental footprint. Wait. I wonder how we can show that our community is leading the way to be more green. What is LEAD? I think that's a building where you um, either are using building materials that are reused, recycled, um, not starting from scratch with the, with the building materials. It's a building that won't hurt the environment, that it'll actually help it and decrease the fuel emissions. Probably that they're using materials that have been recycled and also that they're um, trying to make a building that's energy efficient. I built my house of star. I built my house of hay. I toot my flute. I don't give a hoot and play around all day. I'm glad to see that this little piggy is using renewable materials for his house. Yes, but there seems to be a lot of waste. We must address this. This little piggy also needs to invest in Energy Star windows and doors to conserve energy. <laughs> This little piggy has also decided to use renewable building material for his house. This little piggy should add insulation to conserve on energy. He also might want to consider adding a rain barrel to collect water to use for irrigation. I built my house of stone. I built my house of bricks. I have no chance to sing and dance cause work and play don't mix. This little piggy seems to be thinking ahead. With the clay-based interlocking bricks, his house will be waterproof and fireproof. Good clay bricks are insect, termite, sound, mold, and mildew proof. And what is even better, they insulate the home, save energy, and will withstand tornado and hurricane force winds. Very important in an area known for its wolf population. This little piggy is headed in the right direction, but still needs to meet many more requirements to have a LEED certified home. One, one important feature of the LEED certified home is the materials that are selected for the house. You'd like those materials to be local, you'd like them to be non-toxic, and you'd like them to have recycled content. You'd like to reuse as many existing materials as possible. So the way the house is designed is to take advantage of solar heat gain from the south. There are a number of different heating systems in the home, one of them being wood-burning fireplaces. The fireplaces that are installed in this house are EPA-certified, high-efficient fireplaces. A very efficient way to heat a home is by using water or using hydronic heat. This home has hydronic heat in all three floors. The open staircase in the home is not only a neat architectural feature, but it's also uh, functional in its design. The staircase goes all the way from the basement floor up to the top of the roof and it allows us to naturally ventilate the home. The stair treads in the home are an example of reclaimed wood. To reduce our water consumption in the home, all of the water fixtures are low flow fixtures. To reduce energy consumption, the lighting design in the home is focused on natural lighting, but when we do have to turn lights on at night, uh, we have energy efficient compact fluorescent light bulbs in all of the light fixtures. We use what's called the LEED Green Building Rating System from the U.S. Green Building Council as our guiding path to how we build green. It's a way to guide the architects like Mr. Mano here and the engineers and the builders 
to figure out ways to work together to make sure that all the materials of construction are the right materials of construction, that the building's going to use less energy once we get it going, um, that it, we use uh, uh, less water too, um, and it generates less waste during construction and after construction when we start to operate it too. And people will come in here and they'll think it's air conditioned, but it's not really. We just have a smart ventilating system in here that brings cool air in at night and keeps that cool air moving around during the daytime with these ceiling fans. The furniture here was reused, so, you know, the whole idea of reduce, reuse, and recycle is one of the big principles that is part of lead and part of you know, when you go to build something. But again, the carpet, the paint, the selection of the flooring, everything in here is um, according to the lead principles of low emitting materials, locally sourced, um, and high recycle content. The museum itself will be lead certified and will serve as a flagship demonstration project and an example of sustainable construction. We ourselves have committed since 2002 to ensuring that each of our new building projects will uh, configure to um, at least the silver standard with, with the lead rating, and, and we've actually been pretty successful. EED certification, that's the program they're using. They will be for, they are largely forced to use wood products grown and manufactured overseas. This puts American workers and American products at a competitive disadvantage. The government has had a, uh, a key supporting role in uh, the development and um, growth uh, of the LEED standard. Um, just recently, uh, the federal government um, just, uh, adopt, just uh, increased its requirement for uh, the level of LEED certification uh, it, its prior commitment was that every building over 50,000 square feet needed to be LEED Silver certified. And now they just upped that as part of the Obama administration's commitment to uh, improving the environmental footprint of the government. Uh, they increased that requirement to uh, gold certification. So that's a, that's a pretty big jump. And uh, so all new uh, major federal buildings now must be LEED Gold. Wait.